G Zero is taking a look at many aspects of inequality in America, including within our criminal justice system. The United States is the most incarcerated nation in the world by a long margin, with more than 2.3 million people in jails and prisons. And the trap door that many of those people first fall through is our insane cash bail system. Here's a closer look. I'm Insha Rahman at the Vera Institute of Justice, where I lead our work to reform money bail. I'm standing here in Brooklyn, steps away from where thousands and thousands of people have gathered to protest over the past 10 days in the wake of George Floyd's murder at the hands of the police. Black Lives Matter! Since the protests began, there's been an estimated 9,300 arrests just in the U.S. alone. And following an arrest is the potential for cash bail to be set. Cash bail is exactly what it sounds like. It's a money amount that's set in a case that somebody has to pay before they can get out of jail. If they're able to pay it, then they get to go home to their families, to their job, to their communities, and they get to come back to court until their case is resolved. If they can't pay bail, then they sit in jail for the entire period until their case is resolved. We know that incarceration doesn't impact all communities in this country equally. Black people are more likely to be police, they're more likely to have bail set that they can't afford, and come time for sentencing, they're more likely to receive a jail or prison sentence. And we know that this impact of bias, both explicit and implicit, compounds to have a truly chilling impact both on individual people's lives and the system as a whole. A thousand dollar bail can ultimately feed a family of three or four for two months. So their family are already under the impoverished line and is a, ultimately you're gonna take the time rather than your family going hungry. Could you afford to pay $5,000 to get out of jail? No, ma'am. How long did you sit in jail for? Three months. America incarcerates more than any other place in this world. Right now we have 2.3 million people behind bars in jail and prison. If we were to incarcerate at the same rate as the rest of the world, we'd actually have no more than 360,000 people behind bars. That's a tremendous, tremendous difference. And one of the main reasons why is because we have a money bail system where we allow not only money to determine whether somebody gets out of jail or stays in jail, but also we allow the bail bond industry to turn a profit over each arrest and each time bail is set. We are in fact one of only two countries in the world that allows for private bail bondsmen to turn a profit each time bail is set. The other country is the Philippines. No other country besides these two in the world have a for-profit bail system. The protests that we've seen are unlike any other in history. And what we know is that there's a demand and an obligation that we have to make sure that the path we walk moving forward isn't the same path that got us here. And what that means in the immediate is that people are donating money to community bail funds who are paying bail for protesters unjustly arrested. In the longer term, we know that elections are coming up and people can vote at the ballot box for prosecutors and judges who are ready to end cash bail and believe that more incarceration doesn't equal more public safety. Finally, governors and state legislators can change the laws in each state to make sure that money doesn't determine somebody's freedom.